Hello guys, and yes, we are back. It's me, Scott Air to Hot Air. We are on the fence install, the same one that you would have seen at sort of the end of Wednesday's video. The barricade is still standing up, stopping the dogs from coming in, but we're gonna take that one out. We're just gonna get that done, and then we're gonna catch up with the fencing. Of course, it is a pleasure having you guys click on this video. Thank you very much for that. Really do appreciate it. If you could like the video, we would appreciate it. Subscribe if you're brand new. And uh, yeah, just sit back, relax and enjoy yourself. We're gonna get this one in with the magic fingers. The magic fingers being these bad boys. So let's get it in. And there we have it guys, look at that. Much better than having a little bay. Let me show you what we've done. One big bay, seven foot. And we said we was gonna put a freebie free post in behind it. Perfect. And what we will be doing is tying this into this as well. This is tied into this. This will be tied into this, waking one big secure unit. We've left the post in for this because we was told not to take this out. Just had to cut the timber because obviously this wrapped round in a camp rail style. So this will tie into this and this will stop moving. There'll be a piece of timber on this side as well to tie that one back in, but that's going to have a 4x2 because a 3x3 three three wouldn't fit. So we'll attach a 4x2 to it, screwing from that side. The beauty with panels as well, you can still do it when the panel's in. So that's the beauty. Oh, talking of panels, I've said we've done this bay as well. Done this bay as well. And this is a corner post that's going to return down here, taking all of this fencing down. The neighbour behind asked if we could keep the bamboo up. She said, obviously, cut away anything you have to, but it would be ideal if we could keep this bamboo sheeting up. So we're keeping the bamboo sheeting up where we can, keeping this post and potentially this post in. That rail's going to go. reason we're keeping that post in because all of that bamboo and that shoots are wrapped around that post and it's sort of holding everything up. We could take this one, this one and that one away, potentially that one. We've took that one away. All of that will be going. But... We might have to keep that one and that one in.
a messy job, but we get it done. guys whole dog i went to the shop yesterday so because scotty too hot has gone to the shop today we need a meal deal it's five past three we're absolutely battered so we didn't get here till half past 11. oh so we're gonna have a meal deal it's looking good obviously we've done that one done that one done that one done that one gonna have done this one in around about half an hour's time and then it's probably tidy up time because again 45 minute drive back to the yard would be nice to get one more in but to get one more in we need to take that fence panel down and then we are leaving a garden open so we'll, we'll see you guys but we'll get that one in in what do you click your fingers there we go it's in guys yeah this fence is running downhill like that so what we're going to do we're going to just do a natural step rather than you can see we're losing the gravel board too much look six inch in there we continue that running up the hill, but running level, we're gonna have no gravel board. So, you gotta go to the lay of the land sometimes, just nice incremental steps, four inch above at the moment, and hopefully we'll just do a couple inch each time, tying into that one just there. But yeah, it is 10 to five. It's gonna take us 50 minutes to get back, so. But it needed to be done. It needed to be done to keep ahead. Again, got here late, so. We've had probably one full day on it in the two days that we've been here, but we've smashed it. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning. It is, what day is it, mate? Wednesday. Wednesday, it's Wednesday morning. <laughs> when the bank holiday, the days just fly, don't they? So we have got four pea gravel on there. Me and Ant are doing it because it's a tight one and we're taking Big Red. Big Red's playing up a little bit. So it's like my back, hurting. <laughs> He's like my back hurting in a minute. He finds out that's funny. It's not funny, mate. It's hurting. It's sore. I pulled my back and it's. Oh, it made me feel sick yesterday. Oh, no, yeah. And it's sore. I need to be taking it easy, really, don't I? I'm not as young as what I used to be, even though I feel it. So, yes, we are doing this delivery first. We'll get this delivery out of the way. We'll show you. We've been here before, guys. You, but an avid subscriber, we have been here before. So we'll film going in and film coming out because it's a tight one. And then we're coming back, doing one more, and then we're on a driveway, but we can't film it. We're respecting the customer's wishes. We cannot film it, so there'll be no footage on that. I can talk to you in the car and tell you what I have been doing, but I won't be able to film it. I'm sorry, guys. So you'll be stuck with Stevie and Scott on an amazing fancy job, which I quoted, which is a good one for a change. So yeah, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a happy day. My aunt wants to get going. It's least holding the wagon off. The wagon's not gonna fall over me. Yeah, so we'll get going and be on our way. So it's this one, it's a beautiful setting. You might remember it's reversing all the way out. So what we do, we haven't got the grab on as well. So this is what we do when we haven't got the grab on. It's perfect for bag work and we've got a tip tip one to do as well. So just a straightforward six sun tip and one bag of sharps on take off. But well, first job is we're just getting these off. So I'm gonna use some magic fingers, I haven't used it for a while.
Got to do, click your fingers. <laughs> Back in the yard. Six ton of that. On there. And yes, it is raining. Raining again. It's relentless. Absolutely relentless. Rain, rain, go away, come back another day. Let's get this six ton on. All loaded up and ready to go. Just see over there, <laughs> delivered that one. That was in the way, telegraph poles, bit of a tricky one, but we got it done. And it's a busy road, but yeah, we're out of here. So there we have it guys. We are on the block peeve job or the repair block, G, uh, repair block of peeve job. Yes, I cannot film it, but I will explain what I've been up to or what me and Nant's been up to once we've done it. So you're not going to see me go and catch up with Stevie and Scott and see what they've been up to. Back of the yard, cement's turned up. Lads are busy. So it's me and Jordan just got back. <laughs> My watch has somehow gone backwards. So, Jordan's going to jump on the forklift. And Alba's jumping on the forklift. I'm jumping on the forklift. Take them round with you. Oi! On the bay, look. Them on the bay. <laughs> so, Anne's going to take them round off the bay. Because he's not going empty handed, look. They've got to go round the front. I don't know where he's going, that he? Doing a big turn round. Hopefully he won't stab the bag because he's not chucking anyone under the bus, but he likes stabbing back with forks. No pressure. So yeah, get this opened up and then I'm going to stack them in here. Nice and neat. And I'll show you when I'm done. We are well stocked up. There's a row of cement right down the back, which got used first. And then they're using all these. But yeah, well stocked up. Really well stocked up. I think 28 ton. Jamie said, yeah, 28 ton we've got. Plus, what we've got down there. Still got seven. So yeah, plenty of cement to go at. Lost, last us a little while. And I've had to put my resin stuff in that door there. So we're using that space and all, which I wouldn't think we would use. I can hear the lads just finishing off in the concrete side. I'm going to get this locked up. I want to see what the crack is. Good morning, guys. It is 6.45. Me and Scott decided, or well, Scott actually messaged me at 10 o'clock last night saying, let's get there early so we can crack on with the day. Because obviously we've been getting there a little bit later than normal. Because uh, the deliveries and that. So, yes, got my gold cup. I'm a special boy. Who needs his gold cup? The cup of tea. Got to have that. Otherwise, I feel like I can't kickstart my day. But I need to get the trailer down there. Just got sorting out the panels now. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Yeah, no point getting here early if you slow around, right? Need to get the big plant trailer out of the way. Just push it this way so I can get the middle trailer down there so I'm gonna crack on with that we're ready just before half seven let's go all delivered that's where we've been asked to put them as well guys this was a killer nine foots as well have a look at the walk we've just had to do Right, here you guys. Had to obviously block the road for a little bit, but everyone's been sound about that, but that's how far we've had to walk down. Crazy. But, back to the yard we go. You can 
raining guys oh, imagine this them over there they make a bacon sandwiches that's amazing big shout out to you guys if you do watch the videos they're not subscribers so they probably don't but big shout out we appreciate it right this bay lean to is a drain right here there is a drain right here the last one attached onto that I think that's what we're going to do, because this is solid. Yeah, we don't like to dig next to drains, do we, guys? Yeah, measurement, and it's just a smidgen under a six-foot bay, which is better for us than a seven-foot bay. But we're going to have some food and crack back on. Just what we do, guys. It's just what we do. Definitely needs a tidy up. Still think they should have gone across there myself. Looking good. Now it's a camp rail style over here. So yeah, let's get it. Relationships will often end in disgust And I know you are my love, but there's nothing to discuss I don't need you in my life no more I don't need you in my life no more I got no money, it's getting sunny But I still feel cold I've been nose running, you funny, funny So this was the plan guys, we thought about going inside to this, but as you can see with this post sticking out, this is off level and what we decided to do is to run up to the, uh, what's it called, the concrete, well, this is going to be slightly taller as well because on the quotation it was taller than seven foot, so we're going as tall as we can, but then we needed to put a piece here so rather than go inside then from this piece angle over here like this we thought it looked stupid running across and then angled when we can just use this this and have a flush complete piece of camp rail and it would look better than across and then angled 
Obviously, we're going to get it all done and dusted now. And we're going to do it with Scotty Too Hotties Magic Fingers. Scott's Magic Fingers have turned into my Magic Fingers. And that's what we've done with that one, guys. Looks much better straight rather than straight kick. Looks much better. There was a feather edge we didn't like right there. So Scott has just changed that feather edge. Yeah, not too shabby. They want a quote. They want a driveway quote. Busy, busy, busy. Good morning. It is a Saturday morning and it is a beautiful morning. There's no rain, it's, it's nice. We finished late last night, me and Steve. Some of the boys stopped to help us. It was a late one, I don't know, I think about eight o'clock by the time we got done on the one we couldn't film, but it turned out really nice. Just a couple of little finishing touches we need to do, just a little panel sliding, uh, a bit more sanding to do on the drive, and then we're out of here. But the reason why I'm in on a Saturday, it's my Saturday off. Bernie, two Jords are here, but yeah, it's my Saturday off, so I'm looking, someone's just turned up. My Saturday off, but I come in because my new machine is coming. That's coming on Monday, so here's Jordi and uh, Hey. hey, hey, we're gonna go and get breakfast and then we're gonna start our day. What I'm gonna do first, I think this guy wants to see me, it's Keith, Keith Harrison. So we're gonna get breakfast and then we'll start our day. So we have had our breakfast, it's been super busy this morning, which is good. We love that. We can put pennies in the bank, make sure we're all keeping a nice job and happy. Let's have a look at oh, swans. Swans about and they're nesting up the top. No way. Swans are back. The swans are back. So I'll have to send a picture to Chelsea and Steve. What am I doing today then? I'm, I'm clearing. We've been processing like mad. With that trot. I call it tremor. Is it trommel? Trommel. We've been processing with the trommel. I'll probably get corrected in the comments, but yeah. So that stuff out there, we're mixing it away. We're getting rid of that. We're trying to clear this out here. It's got a big puddle there. It's like a wash plant that is. So we'll wash our roadstone. Our recycled roadstone. It's nice and washed and clean. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to sort this back out. We've got a lot to do. Looking at it, it's so much to do. We haven't done a wood run for a while. Yes, people keep on mentioning in the comments. Why don't you get a shredder? If you want to buy me a shredder, by all means, feel free to buy me a shredder. But we have just spent a lot of money on this new machine and funds are a little bit tight. Can't just willy nil it. I can finance stuff, by all means, finance it. But when you finance something, it has to make you money. Can't just sit there not making money. So me and Jordan Humphreys have come up with a plan. We're going to divide this bay in half, well, like that. About there, I think it is. And then we're going to put the ballast there, temporary. So we're going to put a temporary dividing wall down the middle of there, push the sharp sand over, move the ballast into that. In turn, this, this bay here, we're going to take that wall down and then all of that, the new machine and the screener are going to be set up there. Hopefully. Might end up juggling it around and then we can get all this processed and out the way. So we have got a lot to do. The block mold there has got the imprint on. So we're gonna have a look at that and see how that, that's turned out. Hopefully it's turned out. If not, I think it needs to be bigger. But yeah, that's what we're doing today and we'll show the progress as we get there. We've got an egg. Oh, it's just me. went down on it. Yeah, we have got an egg. I know it's a bit blurry because it's picking up. Yeah, this one's about nesting, nesting at top. Hooray! I can't believe I'm all chuck. We've got an egg already. 
So yeah, I'm gonna crack on because I've got loads to do, but that's me in my day that is. Uh, I've just texted the family group. And Stevie's straight away, ready for nesting. And I just thought, I'll have a quick look. He's just off the nest and see the egg. But yeah, I'm gonna start moving this over. There's so much to move, it really is. But that new machine, I can't wait to show you guys when it comes Monday. It's gonna be a massive, a massive step in the right direction for DJ projects. There's gonna be nothing on the ground. So we're just gonna process stuff straight away and straight back out. So yeah, get the cream out of it and then the junk we can't process will be gone, which in turn will give us more room, which is valuable. So yeah, let me get cracked on, stop rabbiting on and start digging this corner out. So we're getting in now. We have cleared half of that. I'm slowly chucking the soil back, but we're gonna nick them blocks here and we've got a block there. That's the one with the stamp on it. So hopefully if it turns out all right, I think he's gonna need a big one personally, but we'll soon see. No, you don't. We've got to lift it up. Yeah, it's got the stamp on the bottom. You have to lift it up first. Yeah, just a thought, it's too small, so it won't come out. So back to the drawing board, what it needs to be, it needs to be really big. Like that, and then it'll definitely come out. So I'll have to let Spitfire know. <laughs> and the lads have put it upside down as well. <laughs> so yeah. I suppose it has worked in a way, but you'd have to chip that out, chop that out every time. But yeah, <laughs> the end took consideration of obviously that that's upside down. So it wants to be with the pointy bits of that side. But yeah, it's a learning curve. It, it's it's work in progress. Definitely work in progress. I'm going to have to take a picture now and send it, Gavin. So two blocks, this is very narrow, we know this, but forget tip there and push it in like so, we've just got to try and juggle the yard and try and still make it work, which is the hardest part when you ain't got much space. But the two Jordans now are going to dismantle the wall there and start shifting the ballast. I'm going to carry on chucking all this soil back. Swapping the bucket, that's what we do. This bucket, it gets all soiled up and stuck in. And we don't want to keep cross contaminate, so we'll use that bucket over there because that's nice and clean. You don't need to keep on cleaning it. And then we'll use this one for the limestone. This should be clean as well. Yeah, nice and clean. 
But yeah, I'm going to carry on chucking it back now. So that's what I've managed to do. Managed to chuck all that soil back. I don't know what we're going to do about this machine. I wanted it here, but got a little bit more ballast to transfer into that bay there. I know it's a skinny bay, and the lorry's not going to be able to tip in there, but if we get it at an angle, we can push it in. But like I say, temper it, and then we can move this wall over and that wall over a bit more to make that bay a bit bigger but yeah we've got a little tiny bit more ballast to do we've got them two blocks there to take we've incorporated that into the wall so we've got to take that whole wall down to get get these out or stagger it both sides get them out but yeah there's a lot more to do a hell of a lot more to do George just loading a customer now. I'm going to find out whether he's got time to shift that last bit of ballast into that bay. And then come Monday, when the machine gets delivered, it needs to be clear. So we've come to the end of the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. You've seen a bit of fencing. The swans are back. The swans are back. So that deserves a like, if any. I'm going to set a like goal at the end of the video. So the guys will stop round to the end of the video. The loyal subscribers. The like goal is going to be 4,500 likes in 24 hours, guys. Not worth a like, can it? 100%. It is very, very windy. And when it's windy, it's good in our game. Fences blown down. Fences blown down. <laughs> Fences blown down. Fences blown down. <laughs> but yes, check if you are subscribed, guys, because YouTube has been knocking people off because we're on the road to 100,000 so 100, k With that said, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Oh, mm -hmm.